How's it going everybody? Drifted here from Driftwood Gaming. Just want to give you guys a quick update on the version 1.35 uh, update of MV. And uh, some people uh, were having issues getting their games to run. And for some reason it, the games were just lagging and not running. Um, I had that same issue. And uh, so the problem was the update uh, you know, happened. And if you were already running MV when the update happened, then... Um, it like it puts a halt on it like you have to close the program and open the program for it to fully update but uh steam also was updated so that caused it to like stop the update for me when it updated it said zero of zero bytes so it didn't show that it gave any update at all um so the thing i had to do was close steam it locked up on me so if that happens to you control alt delete remove steam from your processes and your uh in the processes uh, steam.exe uh, fully close it and then load steam steam will update and then once steam is updated you can either go to your properties of rpg maker mv and turn on uh, update automatically i always keep this application up to date or only update when i launch it uh, if you have it set to only update when you launch it try to launch it uh, it should update if not then try to do it uh, manually you could try closing steam and opening steam again or you know, try launching uh, the program again. Eventually, keep messing with it. It's not broken. You'll be able to get it running and getting running uh, version 1.3.5 going. So we got 1.3.5. So what did this update do? Let's take a look at what it actually did. Let's read more. Very small update actually, um, unless there's you know stuff hidden underneath the table. Um, Basically, it uh, updated the character generator so that JSON files that were made before version 1.3.4 can now be loaded, uh, and it fixed some dark mode uh, title bar uh, in the Mac uh, OS X Lion software. Uh, it fixed some deployments on the Mac uh, the Mac's, uh, operating system, so it can be played on different machines now. Uh, it added some, uh, it fixed a bug with the character generator, so it did a, quite a few things with the character generator, and it also fixed an Android bug that caused sounds to not play if you're using a certain browser. So nothing that really pertains to, uh, to, to me or most of you probably, but it, some people it would affect. So an update that was necessary to have eventually. Uh, it's good that we keep getting updates. I hope, I just wish they would do more, like uh, let plugins affect, you know. Uh, let plugins update the actual software itself so that you can have like, you know, you could put in your own little thing here that, you know, a plugin that'll affect and give you your own drop down menu to do things and, you know, how most modern engines actually work nowadays. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the 1.35 uh, software update for MV. Um, if you guys have any trouble, you can always uh, send me a message, uh, DM me. On Twitter, I'm at Driftwood Gaming. You could uh, message me through my Patreon. Um, yeah, you can follow me on. You can uh, add me on Skype. I'm Driftwood Gaming. Uh, leave a message in the in on this video if you have any trouble. There's many ways to get a hold of me. But uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Just quick update on uh, some issues that I had and maybe other people were having as well. So yeah, uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We'll see you guys in the next video.